Hello class, welcome to our last lesson for the week 6 for health, the topics about environmental sustainability. Uh, let's go for this activity first, what's in? Determine whether the given activity in each number is a solution or a contributor. Write your answer on this beverage to paper. So I think I shall have to get your mapping notebook to answer this. Madali lang naman to. So, you write it. So if it is a solution or contributor, by your paper 1 to 5 in your notebook. Number 1, burning leaves. Sinabi nating solution, nakakapag-alis ng pollution. Pag-contributor, nakakapag-cause ng pollution. Okay? Number 1, burning leaves or pagsusunog ng dahon. Number 2, recycling garbage. Okay? Mula sa busura, gagawa ng kapakapakinabang na bagay. Number 3, using leaded fuels. Okay, ito yung paggamit. O yung, halimbawa, yung mga father ninyo or brother ninyo yung gumagamit ng mga leaded fuels, yung mga premium. Four, minimizing noise. Gawas ng mga ingay. Number five, riding a bicycle. Instead na sumakay ka ng mga pampublikong sasakyan, gamit ka ng bisikleta. Okay? Next, activity. So, for our new topic, try to look the different words on the left side of your screen. Okay? Daming salita, di ba? Tayo sa questions. Which words catch your attention the most from the word cloud? Okay. Word cloud po yung nasa kabila natin. Ano yung nakapag-catch ng attention ninyo? Number two, do you know the meaning of these words? Alam nyo ba yung meaning ng salitang yan? Okay. Next. We learned from our previous lesson the different ways to address pollution. Okay, it is important to do this maintain safety to reduce the risk of getting sick and promote well-being in the community. So, kung naalala ninyo, sa last lesson natin, nalaman natin yung mga iba't ibang pwede natin gawin para mabuwasan ng pollution. Yeah. So, from the word loud activity, okay, you would notice that the two most prominent words are environmental and sustainability. So, let us define these two. Okay, tingnan natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng environmental and sustainability. Okay? Number one, sustainability. It's meeting the needs of the people at present without jeopardizing the ability of the people in the future to meet their needs. So, ano ba yung sustainability? Diba? Kung pagbibigay ng pangangailangan ng mga tao sa kasalukuyan. Pero, hindi nababahala yung kinabukasan. Diba? na pwedeng may masamang epekto sa kinabukasan nila. So, ano naman yung environmental sustainability? So, it's defined as the rate of renewable resource harvest, pollution, creation, and non-renewable resource depletion that can be continued indefinitely. So, the following further explains renewable and non-renewable resources. So, ano ba yung renewable resources and non-renewable resources? Diba? So, yung salitang sustainability, dinikit natin sa environmental. Alaman natin yung ibig sabihin ng sustainability kanina. So, ano yung number one? Renewable resources can be replenished. Some example are sunlight, wind, geothermal energy, and ocean waves. Okay, pag sinabi natin renewable resources, ito yung mga no, natural resources natin. Okay, sunlight, sikat ng araw. Hangin, yung mga geothermal energy natin, ocean waves. Number two, non-renewable resources. So the other hand exists in fixed amounts and cannot be replenished. Example are petroleum, coal, and natural gas. The question on hand is how do we make our resources environment be sustainable for future generation? The problem with our society today is we are so much focused on economic growth that we forget how much it could degrade or deplete our environmental through pollution, global warming, 
destruction of natural habitats and high consumption of non renewable resources okay so kanina alam natin yung renewable resources etong na renewable okay pag ginamit natin oh, wala na siya at hindi pa natin pwedeng ibalik oh nabawa yung ating mga petrolyo ating mga uling mga gas ha? so pagka nabawa yung uling nasunog na natin yan pagiging abo na yan, hindi naman natin pwedeng buuin ulit na uling yan. Mga gas natin, pag nagamit yung gas, hindi usok siya, di ba? Ah, saka yung mga non-renewable resources na to, ay nagkukos ng disadvantage sa ating kapaligiran. Di ba? Next, we can make difference by helping our community to numerous environment environment-friendly activities, and climate change adaptations. Below are the things we could do to help sustain our environment. Okay? So, para magawa tayo ng mas magandang bagay sa ating komunidad, diba? may mga environment-friendly activities. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung nakakatulong sa ating kapaligiran. Mga gawain. Okay? At sa pagbabago ng klima, ano tayo makapag-adapt? Diba? Ano tayo makapag-adjust? Ano ba ito? Meron tayong limang bullets. Okay? First bullet natin, minimizing waste. Okay? Pagpabawas ng kalat. Imbis na gumamit tayo ng istro, may okay, mga nabibili po tayong uh, personalized na istro, di ba? Do some backyard gardening. Yan, yeah, importante yan yung backyard gardening. Ngayon nga, Meron tayong tinatawag na Urban Agriculture Project ng Boys Cut of the Philippines. Diba? So, marami tayong tinatawag na mga plantito at saka plantita yung mga taong mahilig magtanim ngayon during the pandemic. Participating in cleanup drives. Okay? So, sa ngayon, kung hindi pa pwede na upas kayo mga kabataan, diba? eh, umpisahan nyo muna sa bakuran ang maglinis ng ating mga kapaligiran. Diba? Supporting groups dedicated to sustainability. So, mga mga Voluntary groups na tumutulong at dedikado sa sustainability. Okay. Practicing 4 hours. So, ano itong 4 hours na to? Reduce, reuse, recycle, and recovery. Remember, we can do many things to improve our community and the lives of people in the future. To be able to sustain the environment. Remember, we could do many things to improve the lives of people in our community for sustaining the environment for the future. So, sundaan po natin yan na pwede natin ma-develop, pwede natin mapalusog ang ating komunidad, ang ating kapaligiran, di ba? At ang buhay ng ating mga tao sa inaharap, okay? Na hindi natin nisira ang ating kapaligiran. Okay? Now, for sustainability in community. So divide your paper into two. From the table below, write the words you are familiar with on the left side and the unfamiliar words on the right. Okay? So tingnan natin kapag gamay natin dito. So recycle, conserve resources. Compose, hazard, waste, and yung mga reduce awareness. So ayun po yung mga words. So familiar words and unfamiliar words. Kung familiar kayo sa word na recycle, okay, alam niyo yung salita ng recycle, lagay natin dun sa left ng screen ninyo, nakalagay dyan, familiar words, yung salita ng recycle. Kung hindi naman, at ngayon lang natin ito nabasa, at hindi pa natin alam kung anong ibig sabihin nito, ilagay natin saan ito familiar words. Okay? Define the words you have written on the left side based on what you know and understand afterwards. So, define the words on the right using a dictionary. So, sa mga notebook ninyo, dapat makita po natin na nakita nyo yung ibig sabihin ng mga words na yan. Okay? Kung to ay naging unfamiliar words para sa inyo. So, exit ticket tayo guys. Bago tayo matapos for what I have learned. The most important thing I learned today is complete this sentence or this unfinished sen sentence in your notebook and last what I learned today will help me in the future because yeah. 
So, ano pa yung mga ragawin natin? So, improper disposal of plastic are one of the problems in the community. It may cause sickness, floods, damage the surrounding, contribute to pollution, and even be eaten by animals and kill them. Okay? So, problema natin ngayon talaga sa panahon ngayon yung mga plastic. Okay? So, pretend that you are a youth leader who is concerned about the problem. Think of three possible projects you could implement in your community to help solve problem. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ninyo ay, kunyari, uh, youth leader kayo, SK, member kayo ng SK, o kaya, uh, voluntary na, na leader kayo sa isang organization, diba? mag-isip kayo ng tatlong posibleng proyekto para mabawasan ang problema natin sa improper disposal of plastic. Okay? Yan. So, isulat nyo sa inyong notebook. So, tayo dito sa assessment. This is an admin out activity. Cross out the word which does not belong to the each group. Bawa, air, land, noise, wind. Okay. So, ano yung hindi kasama dyan? Ano? Ah. One, waste, toxic, chemicals, plants, fumes. Number two, plastic, aluminum, styrofoam, paper. Three, segregate, garbage, use plastics, make a garden, recycle things. So, ano yung hindi kasali din sa buto na yan? Cross out nyo lang. Okay? Pero kayo, ang gagawin ninyo, isulat nyo na lang sa notebook ninyo. Okay? Yung tamang sagot kung ano yung i-cross out ninyo. Para madali natin matchikan. So, 10 items lang naman to guys. Okay. Additional activity. It's a sign. If you see a sign that says private property no trespassing, you will not enter, right? If you see a sign that says save water, what will you do? The more effective in helping the environment in your community, create two signs for our home and place in non strategic areas in your home like the bathroom, kitchen, and garden, which can remind everyone to do their job in helping environment. And we use any available material at your home in making your sign. Send a picture of the posted sign to your teacher. Okay, so gagawa po tayo ng signs sa loob ng ating bahay, di ba? Para mapatulong sa ating environment. Okay, ano yung mga pwede niyang gawin sa inyo? Example, save water. Yan. Tapos, pipicturean nyo siya, then isi-send nyo sa ating Google Classroom. Okay, so again, maraming salamat po. This is Teacher J. Loon, always say new normal education. Kung kaya nila, ay kaya mo rin. Ating alamin. Lagi tayong manalamin sa ikabubuti natin. Bye-bye!